as you've heard, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In the last episode, of course, we made our way through and defeated some rematches with the Team Star members. In today's episode, I wanted to get started taking on what I believe are some kind of legendary Pokemon in this game. We've sort of seen a little bit of it. As we've been adventuring through this region, we've been finding different stakes in the ground of different colors. Each color leads to a VOD, and each VOD has some sort of big deal Pokemon inside, from what you guys have let me know. I really don't know too many more details beyond that. That, but I figure for right now we'll focus on collecting one of a certain type of stake and see if we can't get to the end of it, you know? So we'll start with the purple stakes and sort of see where it leads. So if I take a look at the map, I know that there's a couple that we have found. I don't think it shows them on the map at all, but I have a guide here just so that we can find them, you know, pretty quickly. And it's weird because the game really hasn't mentioned it at all. Usually with these kind of weird secret things, the game at least mentions it to some degree, but not with this whatsoever. So we'll be looking around the Paldean region and trying to find more stuff like that. Okay, so the first area we're at is actually the Artisan area, and I think it should be right up here that I'll be able to find it. Some of these, of course, I've already found along the way, but either way, I'll try to showcase them all just in case you're watching and trying to figure it out yourself. But we've arrived at our destination at the very tippity top of here, we have one of these. So if you haven't seen the previous episodes, basically there are these stakes like these, this is an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Sure. So we'll pull this one out. And nothing really seems to happen. When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. But I guess if we find them all, something important will happen. So that's the first of a couple. So our next one is gonna be a little to the west of Artisan, which is right over here. I already marked it on our map. So I think we might have already found this one, but I figure we'll run over really quickly to be sure of that. So I will. I just sort of run around. If we find any trainers to fight or any new Pokemon to get, that would always be good. Or just things to collect. So, we're gonna be looking all over for that kind of deal. But it looks like for the most part, you know, we have most of these Pokemon. So, it's not worth, you know, going too far out of our way. I will grab this right here. Some experience candy is always nice. And I think, yeah, we're heading in the right direction, for sure. Okay, just grab some extra stuff like this right down here. This is an area we explored a lot earlier in the game, has way easier Pokemon than we typically do with. Bunch of Shinx down this way that we can just throw our tail and flame at. But what about uh, Rookity? Yeah, we got Rookity caught. We have so many Pokemon caught at this point that it's easy to get it mixed up. I don't know where this cave leads. This is new. Oh, you know what? This is probably where we fought, yeah, the Rock Titan. Okay, so I guess I can't go in there. <laughs> Still pretty cool. We do have Growlithe. No more Shinx, I can just throw tail and flame at them. You know, it's not much experience, but it's a little bit of something. It's one experience. Oh, we got a TM here. This is, uh, not gonna tell me. All right, oh, it was Reflect. Cool. Um, well, we're getting a little bit closer, but I just need to jump over here. Lots of goodies around, luckily. Glad to get those. So we got a Pokeball and Energy Powder. Almost there now. We just need to climb up here to East Province, Area 1. This is where there's technically some new Pokemon. Most of these guys we've grabbed though, so. What about this trainer? Have we take you, taken you on? Oh, we haven't. Are you the client? I don't know if there'll be some kind of reward for finding every trainer, but you never know. Are you the client? Did you manage to bring the uh, sample that I contacted you about? That doesn't sound familiar, so probably not. You were challenged by Mario the Office Worker. And they're gonna send out Murkrow. So I'm guessing this will be some very low level Pokemon compared to where we're at at this point. So I'm not gonna get too worried about it yet, it's level 23. So we'll just be able to do Heat Wave, whatever works. Just with our gigantic level advantage, everything's gonna be a one hit takedown. So I'm not really too worried about that. Okay, so let's see what they have next. A little bit of experience, Houndoom. We'll keep with what we have. Just wanna rush through this one as fast as we can and then get back to uh, finding mistakes. Okay, so level 24 Hound Doom, not our problem. Oh, they missed it! Wow, okay, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, you know, it's good to do these trainer things when we can because we do get rewards for finding all the trainers in a specific area, or at least a lot of them. And I, I do wonder if we do get all of those done, would we get some other kind of prize? Might be like an end game thing worth working towards. Okay, Krogunk's next. We keep our current Pokemon and just take you out, no problem. This guy definitely seems to have quite a few Pokemon now. Good varied team. Okay, so we'll just use Aerial Ace against you. It's super effective. Is your fighting type? There we go. The Crow Gun's gonna faint. We'll have to do away with you and just move to our next sign. So yeah, not too bad. We defeated Mario the Office Worker. 
I'm pretty sure you aren't my client. Please, don't make me battle anymore. <laughs> Will do. Got quite a lot of prize money though, almost 4,000. Sh shove off, won't you? Before anyone sees, I'm supposed to meet someone here who said they'd show me some super cute Pokemon. Okay, well, good luck. Oh, and there it is. It is chilling out right over here, so we haven't found this one. See, it's right here. I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up. So this is our second one. As far as I understand, there are eight of them in total. So we'll pull this stake out. So we're at least at two of them down. That one's gonna crumble and vanish just like the rest. And now we're good to find the next one. Okay, so we're right outside of the academy for this one. As you can see, it's on that main path. I'm pretty sure and this is the one we found. I know we found at least one of them. Do I have you? Pretty sure I do, you're gulping. So we'll try climbing up here real fast. At least get some extra items and stuff. What about you? Yeah, that's the, the, the cinder flame Pokemon, whatever it's called. Yeah, I think it would have been right up here. So I guess we had found at some point. It seems pretty familiar. So glad we could find this one. But like I said, just in case you're watching along trying to figure out where they are, now you know, it, it was somewhere up here. Now there should be another one in the distance. And I'm pretty sure we saw this. I don't know if we ever dedicated ourselves to actually getting over there, but we're to find out now. Cause I definitely remember this one being over that way. So just right across here. We'll see for ourselves. The least I can climb up this bridge or something. I'm not really sure. Pretty cool. Oh, it is still over there. That's nice. Okay, so this will be our fourth one at the least. And it seems like all these are in like this sort of specific corner of the map, which is nice. That's always good to see. There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. We will take it. And it crumbled and vanished. So at this point, we're definitely at least halfway through with them, which is great, but we'll grab that Gimme Ghoul coin. We'll keep looking for the next one. So the next one, once again, isn't too far off. It's gonna be on top of this little spiral mountain. It's a little bit south of where we were going before. So let's climb up and see what we can find around here. Because this specific spot, I feel like we haven't looked around too much. And this stuff is obviously much easier to do now that Maridon's fully upgraded. Oh, there's a trainer up here even. Have we battled you? I have not. I have this really cool classmate. Let's hear about it. I have a classmate whose dad is a famous professor. That's cool. You're challenged by Rodrigo the student. I have Drowsy, which we haven't run into Drowsy too often. So that's some good variety. They have Forewarn. Hmm, we'll just use Aerial Ace. I think it'll be fun. They only have two Pokemon. Once again, any trainer in this area we're gonna have a huge level lead on, so. Let's get that done. Giraffe Egg. We'll keep a current Pokemon. I'm just enjoying having Town Flame out since it'll be a pretty reliable Pokemon. Okay, so we'll just do Aerial Ace again. And we got you. All right, there's, there's our trainer done. That one was a lot quicker than the last one, which is nice. And there we go, we defeated Rodrigo the student. There's nothing particularly cool about me. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'm sure you're wonderful. Don't you think it'd be cool to, to have a parent that famous? I mean, I suppose so. I'm sure it comes with its ups and downs. Stantler. Okay, we already have that, but we're just, you know, heading over here to see whatever other new Pokemon might be here to grab. Okay, it looks like we have Axu over here. Do we have Ghastly? Whoa, okay, I guess I'm fighting you. <laughs> Not really what I meant to do. Maybe we'll just run from this just to save us a moment, but I'm pretty sure we do have Ghastly. Just making sure, because one thing, it's been a little bit since I've last played, so I just wanna keep up with everything. It's Ghastly we have. Axu we have, I'm just gonna throw out my down flame. As we make our way up this little spiral mountain, I think I wanna climb up the normal way just to see if there's anything new, because it seems so neat. So we can jump up like that. Very cool. A little bit more to get up. Whoa, we can glide too. All right, we, we definitely have all you guys. I mean, typically, oh no. There you go, down flame sort of messed up. They would be a little bit more of a risk, but I think for this one, yeah, since it's you know, so low level, Town Flame won't really take any damage. So I think we're about to reach the top of it, maybe? We're getting there, we're getting there. A little bit more to spiral up. The Swablu's are around too, which is always cool. And, oh geez, almost there, almost there. 
We've arrived at our destination technically, but at the very tippity top of the Spiral Mountain, we got another black stake. That's cool. So, let's go ahead and pull this one out. This will be number five. And with that done, we'll also grab this Gimme Ghoul coin if it's still there. There it is, got it. Oh, and I wonder, you can just barely see a little purple thing down that way. I wonder if that's actually the, the door we're trying to open. If so, we're well on our way. So we just gotta find the next thing. So this next one, I might have already gotten. I'm not quite sure. It's a little bit to the west of the Spiral Mountain near Los Platos, which we explored very early on in the game. We're just gonna glide over. Should be nice and easy to do that, right? So we'll see if we see it. If we do, then obviously we'll grab it. But if not, that probably means I found it before. I guess like right by the entryway of Los Platos. Can we land on top of this little thing before we run out of too much height? There we go, just barely made it. That was cool. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it in the distance. So we'll get over there as soon as we can. So it shows you that you know you can't really just go to a high spot and sort of see them all. They sort of don't load in until you get close. So let's go ahead and grab this. And then there's a TM over there that I definitely want to grab. Okay, so our sixth stake here for sure. This is great. Very nice. And then let's grab this TM. What one will this be? Struggle Bug, which I guess we've gotten before. Okay, so on to the next one. So now south of Los Platos, there's this little uh, lake that leads into a river, which is pretty cool. We'll be hopping down there and getting it. Oh, it says that there's a Pokemon near here that I don't have. It usually takes a while for those to pop up. On the map, you can see it though. Do we have you? Yeah, that's Shrewdal. If we could wait around for that, that'd be great, but I don't know if I'll, I want to spend too much time on it. Is that, that's a little peachy, so cute. Okay, so, hmm. I'm gonna keep throwing out my Pokemon until we find new stuff, right? It looks like there might have been some new things down this way. Oh, definitely a TM. Grab that, that's Metal Claw. Fives are always great to have. Oops, sorry, Raiden. Full heal. But not too much more, so we'll make our way out of here for now. These things I saw, we have hop it. Okay, don't have to worry about it then. My town flank can keep busy fighting them. Yeah, around this mountainous area, we obviously explored alongside, but didn't explore the actual mountain too much because we couldn't really climb them back then. So uh, we got a TM here, play rough. The user attacks by playing rough with the target, which of course we have that move, but I just guess we haven't found the TM just yet until now. A super potion too, come on, you can get up there. There we go, much better. Almost at the tippity top of this. There's gotta be some cool stuff up here. Okay, there it is. So yet another stake has been acquired. I thought it would be more of like an alcove kind of deal, but I guess not. Anyways, we'll definitely grab this. What I believe is our seventh one. So glad to find that. Whoa, wait a minute, whoa, what's happening? You heard a mysterious cry coming from the shrine which I think is way down that way. So before we go over there, I do wanna at least show you guys where the eighth one is, because apparently I have found it, but I think that it would be good to show you guys, just in case you're playing along and trying to find it for yourself. So the eighth one is actually all the way by the east. I'm pretty sure it's actually close to the entry. Maybe that's how it works. I can't quite remember, but we're gonna set that as our destination. And is there any easier way to get to it? Maybe some flying over. I mean, we could from that one beach. It might be faster though, just to do this. Cause this area we actually did poke around with a little bit, if I remember correctly. So there might not be as many crazy things to find around here that we haven't already stumbled upon, but we'll definitely get through it either way. We definitely grabbed that TM right there. We got Pollen Path. Cool, cool. And then heading up here. What is that thing right there? Oh, it's a treasure chest. It's gonna be one of the Gimme Ghouls. I actually need to fight one of those, if it'll let me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that didn't work. There we go. I need to do this for um, getting more Gimme Ghoul coins. Let's see, it's only level five, so I've already caught one. So I think we're gonna just destroy this one. It should still give me a good chunk of coins, even defeating it, catching it, I don't think it matters too much. Yeah, we get another 50. Definitely need to take those opportunities whenever I can, because a lot of you let me know that we need 999 of them, so that's gonna take some work. Anyways, we're good to continue here. Whoa, Mariah's a little shaky. We got some turbulence. 
once we land, we'll zoom over real quick. And then maybe after we take on whatever Pokemon is in that shrine, we are definitely going to go check out some of the terror raids because we haven't done that in a good long while. I definitely have the Flamingo, the Flamingo. You're not Flamingo. Grab this, give me a ghoul coin though. Even just a couple waiting around can be pretty important. We definitely have that trainer defeated. I do remember that. We're almost there. See, here's the entry to the shrine. So before we do that, it was right up here. So that's pretty cool, it's so close. I get up like this. Now you're more glimmering because we got another terror raid thing. Yeah, I guess it was somewhere around here. Ooh, I don't have you, it's a viper. Okay, so let's go and fight you for sure. Let's see how this turns out. You know, this is a little bit not what we're trying to focus on, but if I throw a quick ball, it should be a quick catch. We've got 95 of them, so here's open. Okay, come on. This has gotta be a catch. Oh, no way! Jeez, that's rough. First time trying to catch a Pokemon in a little bit here, so I was hoping we could just get an easy catch and get out of here, but it'll definitely be good to get this, because then we don't have to worry about finding its evolution. Come on, that's gotta be it. I think they're... Some, a lot of Pokemon behind us, but unfortunately that did not work out super well. So at this point, um, I guess I go to my Pokemon and switch to somebody else. Um, I think Yawn with Link alone is my best bet. Everything else is gonna be too damaging. Okay, so I, I used the uh, the Drowsy on them. We're going to just throw Nest Balls at them. I'm pretty sure that's the one where the lower the level, I might be wrong with that actually. I might be getting that mixed up. There is a, a Pokeball that makes it so the lower the level they are, the easier it is for them to catch. Oh, but they're sleeping now, so. Maybe we'll just throw an Ultra Ball. Maybe that's better. <laughs> they look so cute when they're sleeping now. Hmm. Maybe it was Net Ball? No, no, it was definitely Nest Ball, yeah. The lower the level of Pokemon. But it doesn't seem to be working. I think we'll just try an Ultra Ball real quick. Come on, that's gotta work. They're super low level, they're sleeping. Yeah, we got it. So there we go, we finally get to Viper. Been looking for that one for a while. And that's some, a little bit of extra experience for us. Number 218, to Viper. The Fang Snake Pokemon is a poison type. Constant polishing makes the edge of its blade on its tail extremely sharp. It's Zangoose's arch rival. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So glad to get that one in the Pokedex. Number 218. Including they're just perfect. So I think that's actually the evolution of the base form, which I guess we haven't seen. Anyways, we've done everything we can. It looks like, you know, you know the uh, the final stake would have been up here somewhere, but we already have gotten it. So we are going to hop down here and see what this is all about. I'm so curious. So we'll just fly down like this and check it out ourselves. Do I interact with it some way? A faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? Sure. Whoa. Everything's rattling and rumbling. Uh-oh. Oh, it's open. Whoa, what are you? It's like a leaf slug. Or a snail? Oh man, this is cool. So this is a legendary Pokemon, Wo Chain. All right then, so what do we wanna do here? It's level 60, so it's pretty intense. Do we want to Heat Wave it? I'm, I'm still afraid we're gonna one hit take down it. Do I just throw a quick ball real fast? Can we actually get an easy catch on something like this? I'm not quite sure. That's my main concern now though, is that we do too much damage to it and defeat it straight away. Okay, Town Flame's avoiding some attacks. What do I want to start with? Maybe we'll just do Aerial Ace and hope for the best. Okay, that's perfect. Right about here, I think would be good. I'm gonna heal up a little bit from that one, but these are Pokemon we can handle for sure. This is so cool though. Very nice design too. We're gonna get, get a lot of damage taken there, unfortunately, but with that done, I might just throw an Ultra Ball real quick. Come on, come on, this has gotta work. Ah, oh, not quite. I think we might want to switch Pokemon here and just put it to sleep or do something. That's not gonna to do too much damage to us again. This is our chance to switch around. So go to our Pokemon, go back to Oink alone. We could use Yawn. That being this low in health and sleeping would be a pretty big deal. 
Music is cool so far. Yeah, I'm definitely liking it. All right then, so use Yawn real quick. Try to take this thing down. So intense, very cool Pokemon. Use Ruination, uh-oh. Yeah, that does some good damage. Okay, so while it's starting to get sleepier, we'll just keep throwing Ultra Balls and hopefully wear it down a little bit. If not anything else, we're working our way up to using a Timer Ball. But we get it! Okay, we have caught the legendary Pokemon Wo Xian. I'm not sure if it's Wo Xian or Wo Chain. It might be Wo Xian. Hard for me to know for certain. Either way, we also get level 80 for uh for Wink alone. So their data was added to the Bogodex. This is number 393, Wo Xian, ruinous Pokemon, a dark grass type. It drains the life force from vegetation, causing nearby forests to instantly wither and fields to turn barren. Awesome. It's definitely an interesting one to add to our Pokedex. What a catch. So, so, so we still have three more of those to find somewhere. Definitely worth going after. I'll go ahead and get Antidote there. And I guess at this point, we have enough time just to sort of run around and do some terror raid battles, running the Pokemon that are so small I barely saw them. We already have you caught though. So yeah, I think it'll be better just to do terror raids for now. Especially since I believe we've unlocked the ability to get like six star raids, which I don't know if we'll really run into too much, but if we could, we don't have Happiny. All right, well, let's go get Happiny. That would be great, actually. If I can just throw a quick ball at them. I haven't been doing too lucky with the quick ball catches so far, but maybe this will change the tides. Come on, come on. You're so low level. This is really my best bet. Got it, okay, so three new Pokemon caught in today's episode so far. Now we have Happiny. Escarada is so close to level 80, but with this, number 43, Happiny, the Playhouse Pokemon, a normal type, it carefully carries a round white rock that it thinks is an egg. It's bothered by how curly its hair looks. Oh, <laughs> I think your hair looks great. All right, then, so we'll send you to a box for now. I think we already have the evolution of this Pokemon in our Pokedex. Yeah, Chansey. Very cool. I think it does evolve one more time. Ooh, we find a rare candy too. That's always a nice find. We get Psybeam, and look at this. At the end of all, all of it, we get ourselves a little uh, thing. And the Pokemon we just called Viper. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be an ice type. So actually, I think we're good with Talonflame. I don't know if you know our health being low is gonna be a problem here, so we might as well, uh, if I can press the right button, there it is. Heal up a little bit. Here's auto heal, okay, there you go. So, yeah, I think Talonfin will be good against an ice type, of course, so we will challenge alone against the Viper. It is a four star, so it still could be pretty difficult, but I'll give it my best shot. All right, so here we are, we got this group lined up, and I think we can handle it. This Viper with the ice type, Terrasalize, looking good. So we'll just battle be using Heat Wave over and over. We won't be Terrasalizing ourselves, because that would just make us flying type, which is not really what we need too much. We just need the, um, oh no, we're paralyzed straight away, that's rough. Um, we just need the fire stuff. Well, I guess we could use the seal a little bit. Okay, remove negative bust from itself. We've already done a lot of damage to it. So even then, we already got it down to the yellow. I think our team can do this, as, as long as they start attacking soon too. They got a critical hit on us. They're really just focusing on us, aren't they? Okay, so yeah, here come the rest of them. We gotta work through that shield a little bit. Throw out a heat wave. Come on, here we go. Everybody is getting paralyzed here. Oh man, close one. Yeah, I would love to hear, as we're taking on some Viper here, I would love to hear if you've been able to uh, take on any of these legendary Pokemon and get these stakes. It seems really cool. I definitely like how it works. I just wish the game sort of told us about it. It just sort of is there. Anyways, that's enough that defeats the Viper. It's gonna heal, or we're gonna heal a little bit, but it does still have a little bit more fight left in it, it seems. There it goes. So succumb to the onslaught. It's low enough now that we can throw a Pokeball, no problem, be able to catch it. It's funny, I had to try to catch this thing before, but uh, we might as well just try to catch it again. So here we go. And we'll get some good rewards from this one. It's a four star, so that is definitely worth our while. 
and get some experience candy and stuff, which I don't know how much more leveled up our Pokemon truly need to be, but <laughs> I guess it's just a good option to have. All right, here we go. Looks like we just caught the Viper again. Nice. So it's the Viper caught. What are our rewards for this one? We get some experience candy M and L. So that's nice. And a bunch of berries, other experience candy in there too. Looking good. Okay, so with the Viper caught, we can just move on to the next one. I'll just be sort of going from place to place, trying to find either new Pokemon or new raids to take on. Both should be pretty possible, right? I'm pretty sure we have a Drowsy. Yes, we do. So I don't have to sweat it about that one. And if I see any more Gimme Ghoul coins, gonna grab those too. Let's try this one out. This will be a normal type, I believe. I guess it's Electrode. Um. Okay, so what would be good? Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I meant to change the different Pokemon, but we'll work with this. All right, here we go again. This time, okay, it is either Electrode or Electorb. Electrode. I don't know if we've caught Electrode, so this might be a great chance for us. Um, I just don't know if we'll actually survive it with the Pokemon I chose, so we're just gonna keep using Heat Wave and see how much damage we end up doing with you. Um, Cause it's normal type, you know? So we don't have to worry about too much, I would think. But my fire move didn't do anything to it. Oh, no, it did, it just, oh, it's doing that glitch again where it shows the health bar as like not taking damage when it has. It's a little weird, but it's already paralyzed, which is fantastic for us. And that didn't really do too much damage to us, so we're already doing pretty good. We gotta break through that shield, of course, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. The game just gets a little glitched out in some of these. Gonna remove the negative effects from itself, but it's still paralyzed from now. Okay, there it goes. It just takes a moment to update, I suppose. Keep using Heat Wave and stuff, though, for now. It seems good to me. I guess we could switch to Terrasalize and do some damage like that, but we have so much time. I might as well leave it for when we need it. Whoa, it disappeared there for a moment, too. Uh, Okay, battle again. Special moves won't do any damage, so I guess we'll try Aerial Ace. It's something. We're almost broken through that shield. Oh no, ooh, that definitely hurt. That was super effective. Obviously, even if it is a normal type right now, Electrode is still originally an electric type, so it's gonna have electric type moves. We will try another. Uh oh, ooh, Talonflame not looking so good right now, but the shield is gonna break. We'll use Aerial Ace, it doesn't do much. I think I need to go back to the fire move. That was actually doing a bit more than this. We healed one HP. <laughs> okay, with that shield broken though, this is our chance to really do some stuff. We still have a ton of time here, like more than half of our time. I could not move this time though because of the paralyzation. Luckily our team is getting some major stuff done, so we're good. We got it, awesome. Okay, so this is our chance to catch Electrode. Let's go for it right here. And like I said, I'm pretty sure we don't have this one. I guess we'll see in just a moment. Because even on this screen, it usually tells us next to its health bar whether we have the Pokemon caught or not, I'm pretty sure. And either way, it's always cool to get another Terror Raid done just for the rewards of it. But there we go, Electrode caught, extra experience and we'll see what the Pokedex entry says about it. Okay, so for number 208, Electrode, it's a ball Pokemon Electro type. It explodes in response to even minor stimuli. It is feared with the nickname of the Bomb Ball. Oh no. Okay, so we'll send that to our boxes. It's surprisingly heavy at 146 pounds. And there we go, it is an evolution a Voltorb, so it gets added to my uh, Pokedex. Very cool, so we're finding new Pokemon all over the place now, that's great. Okay, so we're back on Poco Path because I wanted to go to, first I wanted to get up here. I don't think I've ever gone up here before, now that I think about it. But on top of that, I wanted to go over to um, the north of here. There should be a dragon type one right over there. Oh, the little wingles. Could I have gotten them? I already have one, so don't have to worry about it. I was just looking to see if there's any more gimme ghouls up here. It doesn't seem like it. So, okay, we'll fly over. That's a good way to get there too, so I'm fine with it. We're catching up to the wingles. And right there, it's a dragon type one. I don't know if there's anything new with this one. We'll have to find out together, but it'll look cool to take on for sure. Dragon type trash slides is always fun. Oh, it's the little dolphin thing. This one's a five star too, so this will definitely be challenging. So we wanna make sure we have the right Pokemon. 
Okay, so we're taking on this Pokemon with Dock Spun. Now this is a five star raid. It could still prove to be really difficult, but the fairy type move should help us get through it. Here's hoping, so we'll battle. And I guess we'll start with play rough. Yeah, this is definitely how we want to do it. Okay, here we go against Palafin. Wait, so is this the evolution? I can't remember. So I guess we'll see in a moment. It would be cool if it is the evolution. You know, they're doing a lot of damage to us right now. So this is gonna take a lot of work for us to get through. It is certainly possible. We just need to keep fighting for now. And just try to stay ahead of time. Use our terror, terror, our terror form as soon as we can. So our defense is falling without, but here comes the ring and dance. Which honestly doesn't really hurt or help us. It's sort of indifferent, but they're poisoned, which is also good. We get a little bit of healing there from the leftovers, I think. Stole some of your terror orbs charge. Uh-oh, I've never seen that. That's interesting. So we'll have to wait even longer before we use it, I suppose. We're slowly getting there, though. More damage stacking on. But they're doing the same to us. Okay, come on, come on. Let's battle again. Play rough, we still can't terastalize. I'm a little bit worried we might not be able to at all. But come on, we have you halfway down now. All right. Okay, now we can terrestrialize, but I'm a little bit worried about our health being too low, so maybe I should wait it out. Because eventually, Palafin's gonna knock us out here. We'll respawn, and then I can maybe terrestrialize, because they're going straight for us every time, which is not too surprising. It seems like the game is just designed that way. Energy has begun to gather around Palafin. That's what I was waiting for. Oh boy. So we'll play rough. Jeez, this shield is really powerful. It is just not getting destroyed at all. So we're at six health now. And now the clock is really starting to catch up too. So like things like that are really concerning. Come on, play rough one more time. They're probably gonna knock us out here in a moment. Critical hit too, it didn't really seem like it. Liquidation against us, so that'll knock out the rest of our health. That's fine. When we come back up, we're gonna terrestrialize and just keep using play rough. That's gotta do something, right? Come on. And we're back. So, Doc Spun's back out. We are a lot lower on time now. But as soon as I get the chance, terrestrialize and play rough. The problem now is I'm running out of power points for this one. I wasn't expecting that, so we might need a lot more than 10 power points to get through with this one, which should be fine. Come on, come on. We'll see what these last three attacks really get for us. If we could just break the shield, it will help us get ahead of so much. Come on, come on. I haven't seen the attack actually do anything yet. That was weird. Yeah, the shield is so strong, it's really hard to bust through. Play rough again, come on, here we go. Ooh, that was much better than last time. Okay, come on team. It's gonna remove negative effects from itself, which I don't care too much about that. Oh my. We are getting healed up though. I think it's from whatever effects on the ground there. This is our last play rough, and this is where things get scary, because I don't really have too many other moves. Oh, that breaks the shield though. So maybe, you know, it might not work out this time, but we'll boost the amount of power points this move has for sure for next time. And maybe that'll go a bit better. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't have any more of that. I can do charm, but it only lowers the attack stat. Uh oh. See, I gotta go quick here. I can't waste too much time looking at it. No, wait. Um, let's just do lick. It doesn't do too much, but it's, it's all I have. I don't even think of damage him at all. So, unfortunately, not gonna work this time. Yeah, it's really not looking so good. I mean, obviously, there's also sort of a random chance with things, considering the fact that you just sort of have to hope that your teammates get good Pokemon in. But unfortunately, yeah, not gonna be enough to defeat them this time. So I think we'll just let them knock us out of here, and we'll, we'll, we'll give it another go. So with the power points up, I was able to boost the play rough use to 14 or 16, something like that. I wanna give them also a couple of experience candies and see if that gets them you know, a little bit higher level. That's always good to see. Um, maybe we'll do a little bit of this. I don't know if that'll be enough. 
it won't be, okay. So maybe soon we'll get to another level. I don't know if that really changes too much, but looking around, is there any other kind of fairy type moves I can use that I might have um, TMs of? I'm not sure. Oh, here's a fairy type one, Dazzling Gleam. This does do 80 power. The user damages the Pokemon by emitting a powerful flash. We could consider that one. We got Skill Swap, which can also be good, but... Hmm. I don't see too much more. Obviously, there's more power with Play Rough than there is the other one. See, so yeah, I think that's really all I got going on right now. We'll try this. We'll see if it goes any better. We are looking pretty close to it this time. We still have six more uses of this. We're a little low on health right now, but we are currently terrestrialized, and we're about to break the shield. So, gonna go in with that. <laughs> he sort of did a double jump. That was interesting. All right. Liquidation, I think that's gonna go against us, but doesn't do too much damage. This is our chance to beat it. Oh man, here we go. It's still, you know, time is still ticking. This could still go badly, but come on, this is our chance. Come on team, play rough right there. That's it, that's it. Jump in, jump in. It's in the red, because we need to keep going. The menus can be slow here, especially when they keep stalling out like that. Oh my gosh, I get it, yeah I know. Come on, go, go, go. And the shield's been broken for a while, I don't know why. What? Did his health go up? Wait, what? Its health went up. You're kidding me. Okay, I think it's glitched again. I think it's glitched again. I think it's gonna go down a lot here in a moment. We'll see. Maybe. I don't know, that's so weird. Uh, Its health is lower on that menu. Come on, we only have a few seconds left here. Oh, come on. Come on, team. It's super effective, I know. Critical hit, I know. Just go, go, go. I, I don't care, <laughs> come on. No way, don't do this to me. No, it's up to them, I can't believe that. It's just the menus are so slow that it just doesn't get to actually get to the point. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. This is gonna knock us out now for sure. We were so close. So one thing I'm doing a little bit different this time is that I equipped what I usually have on Masquerada, the amulet, that makes it so that I don't lose stats. Stat lowering things just don't happen. And that obviously means that we can keep our damage for so much longer. Because you can see everybody else is losing their damage a lot, but we're not. So this might be the secret. We, we still need to do a lot over to get through Palafin and Shield. That's the one thing that still has a lot. But we were able to get them down to this point pretty quickly. So I think I'll do the same thing that I always do, which is to um, use Play Rough repeatedly until we get knocked down. Once we get back up from that, then we terrestrialize to make sure that we're at full health and we can keep it for as long as possible. But we are way ahead of time comparatively to what we're normally at, so that's good. So as long as the game doesn't glitch out again or if the menus just take a really, really long time, I mean, we're ahead of it now, so that's a good sign. I think we can really do it this time, for sure. But it, it is not easy. The, sat, the, the difficulty is definitely stacked against us. But I did check this is, um, the evolution of the dolphin kind of Pokemon that you've already gotten, so that's pretty cool. Oh no, but I don't know if it restored my power points between fights, maybe it did? I, it must have, it must have. It's weird that we're already halfway through it. Feels like it went by faster this time. Anyways, Doc's one's gonna faint, that's fine. I don't know if our partner Pokemon are the best for this one. We're just gonna keep trying though. No matter what, I really wanna catch this Pokemon, so getting it this way, if this is the way we have to do it, then it's the way we have to do it, so. We'll see. Battle, this is where we terrestrialize. We use the play rough. We'll see if we can get it, come on. All right, here we go. A lot of our teammates are a little low on health at this point, but all I can do is just keep attacking. The timer just keeps ticking down and it gets more problematic, but we haven't had our damage lowered whatsoever. So we can use this play rough here. And that definitely helps with the shield a lot. So with I think about six more uses of play rough, that definitely would be more than enough to get rid of it. So, the defense rose on Palafin, They're using boom burst against us, which is like the one thing that does some good damage to us. We have six more uses of it, come on, this is our chance. Break that shield. Ah, oh, they avoided it, come on. That really sinks. There's definitely a lot of luck involved here for us to win this. Um, and I just gotta keep trying until that luck sort of presents itself. Come on, this one, there's no way you're dodging it, right? There's no way. Okay, there we go, the shield is broken. We're using Gloom Burst against us again. We are getting really low, but with the shield down and four more uses, as long as they don't start avoiding it like crazy, I think we'll get them. 
Oh, it's so close. The defense being raised definitely makes it more difficult, but with liquidation hitting us, this is where it gets really close. Tremendous energy gathering, there isn't much time left, I know, so stop wasting my time telling me that. And then the health goes back up, but I think we know that that's just a glitch. But I guess we'll see in a moment. It's just so weird. Um, acrobatics, no, nah, it's gonna get rid of us. So it's gonna be really close on whether or not we do this here. Ah, oh, man, this is so crazy difficult. Come on, you guys. I guess we just have to wait around until I'm back. That's always the frustrating thing with this, is this, oh, they're gonna send us out even. Jeez, I need to do this one. I'm gonna try one more time. If not, we'll give in for now, but geez, it is so difficult. All right, so I tried a good few more times. I just couldn't get it. It got close so many times, very taunting, but just couldn't get it done. Maybe some other point in time we can manage that. It really is, I, I didn't like this about Sword and Shield either, about how later on you just cannot do those without players. No matter how good your Pokemon are and how perfect it is for the situation, if you don't play online with it, you're not gonna win it. And I just, I've never been a fan of that, so a little unfortunate, but you know, we can find ways to get that Pokemon in other ways, so we'll do it eventually. So. I think we might look around a little bit more, but I probably want to wrap up soon. We did a great job getting our legendary Pokemon in today's episode, and I'm excited to see, you know, what others we can find in the upcoming episodes we do the same for those. But uh, for right now, I might just climb around a little bit more before we finish things off. Got a max potion there, which is always nice. I'm not seeing too much else, so. Yeah, what was interesting about this one is it only covered like one section of the map, so I guess we'll be going to a different section next time to find wherever the remaining stakes are. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.